Welcome back to the channel, guys. It is me, 80 Storm 4 Extra. And today I have finally completed Zelda Tears of the Kingdom. And I'm going to give you guys my review of the game. Now, I'm going to try my best not to include any spoilers for those that haven't played the game yet. So, this will be a quick five minute video. When I look back at this game, and I'm going to compare this to Breath of the Wild, because this game is almost like Breath of the Wild. It's pretty much the same now i do enjoy this game don't get me wrong and when you look at both games there are some aspects of this game i do prefer compared to the previous game but there are some things like with breath of the wild that i prefer in that game compared to this game one of the biggest issues i have with this game is the fact they try to repeat the same story from the previous game and it just doesn't hit the same it just doesn't you know, and obviously I know if I go too much into details, it's going to be kind of spoiler. So I'll just keep it very general. It doesn't hit the same. It just doesn't. And that's the problem I have with this game. My biggest issue is that they try to copy the aspects from Breath of the Wild and try to make it better. And they do improve in some aspects. Like, for example, I think the abilities in this game is superior to the ones, you know, especially the, the Ascent. I love the Ascent. And Fuse, that is amazing. It's more useful than your Crinosteris, your Magnesius. But I would also like to have kept stasis. You know, I love stasis. Freezing things, that was very handy. And for me, my biggest issue with this game, as I said, is the story just feels the same. Like, it really isn't too much different. You know, and I will admit this game is harder than Breath of the Wild. And that is one thing I like about this game is that when you progress later on in the game, it actually does feel harder. Because when you get to Breath of the Wild, after you complete the four, uh, four Divine Beasts, the final boss isn't too hard, you know? And that's the problem, is that this game, for me, it is good. I, I'm not saying it's a bad game, but it's just, for me, it's more of the same as Breath of the Wild. So, for example, if you've already played Breath of the Wild, and you're probably wondering, should I play this game? I'd probably say you could play, but have your expectations low. Because, as I said, this game is pretty much the same as Breath of the Wild. I feel like if you are if you haven't played Breath of the Wild and you have a choice between Breath of the Wild and this game, then you should play this game. But if you have already played Breath of the Wild, there is really no point in, in my opinion to play this game because it's pretty much the same. So it is a great game. I do recommend to play it. I, I did enjoy the game, but it just isn't really that much different compared to Breath of the Wild. So I want to know what you guys think in the comments below. For those that have played this game, please let me know. Am I being too harsh in this game, or am I being fair? Um, and yeah, like I said, guys, if you have this agreement, you know, let me know. Uh, please turn on like and subscribe. And yeah, I'll see you guys later, man. Peace out.